I many people got this problem and this is due to the connectivity issue between the internet and your system <clears throat> your system must be connected to internet so that you can access it there are some regions that cues this problem in this video I will explain step by step let's start first of all I create one lab you can imagine it uh, like a building or in AWS world we say it VPC first we create our VPC okay let's go to AWS create new VPC VPC 01 okay and the network you want to give to your VPC let's say I'm giving it 192.168.0.0 slash 32 it means 32 means I can load the IP address 2 raised to power 16 no IPv6 and tenancy default ok and VPC01 and create VPC ok subnet ok it's not v32 it's 24 it's 16 it's 16 not 32 create VPC our VPC is created means we create one building in which we are going to make our network now first of all we make two labs or two subnet this is subnet 1 okay. subnet 1 and this will be our subnet 1 and subnet 2 let me name one subnet 1 take this will be subnet 2 ok first we create subnet 1 go to subnet and create subnet select a vpc in which vpc you want to create vpc 01 and our vpc range is this we have to take our subnet range in between this range like 192.168 dot 0 slash 24 24 means we can assign 2 raised to power 8 IP address means 256 but in AWS AWS reach of 5 IP and total we got 251 IP each. and availability zone let's say 1A and oh sorry this is subnet name say lab 1 ok and range will be this and this is available lab 1 and create subnet this is creating the first subnet and now create second subnet this will be subnet 2 in vpc1 name will be lab 2 and IP address is point 0.2 and this is also available ok we have two subnets this range is 192.168.1.0 this is the network range of this here is network range is 192.168.2.0 ok 
let's create one system one ec2 instance in lab one launch instance <coughs> my EMI okay this is my EMI in which I already configured web server select VPC VPC 01 this is the VPC 01 and subnet 1A enable this is lab 2 and we are going to lab 1 IP address assign let's go give it name OS1 lab 1 second and here I am going to allow all traffic let's say all traffic okay. create new security group ok security group it's s3 1 underscore os1 underscore lab1 security group 1 for os1 in lab1 launch and launch let's say assign this key go to our instance so go to instance check its status okay we go and public ip start from 3.109.47.30 and public ip you can see the range 168.1192.168.1 belonging to this network lab 1 let's try to connect it again refresh it and see what happened okay the connect option go to connect yeah. connect let's see and we go to the error there was a problem connecting to your instance why this is because our system is here this is our PC Okay, OS one. This is our PC OS one, and it has public IP of three something three dot and test test. Okay, but this is not connected to internet. That's the main issue. Here is one router AWS install one router here this is connected to this router only but this router is not connected to the internet this is our internet not connected to the internet why because there is no internet connectivity or inter inter connectivity let's create this first of all we need one router here one router here that's called internet gateway ig create first internet gateway go to internet gateway and create internet gateway gateway name ig01 okay and just create okay but stat is detached it's it stays detached now attach to vpc which vpc I want to put in VPC01 and attach it means we put one router here and now we need to connect this PC to this means whenever any traffic from this OS want to go to internet then where first it go it go to this internet gateway then this internet gateway give its public IP to the packet coming from the system and send to the internet let's create okay first of all 
we need one routing table that has the rule or the path go outside create routing table rbt rt01 which vpc vpc01 and create it it's created and now add some rules see it has one rule if you go, want to go inside your vpc and target is local means you can connect your local systems but we want to go outside add one rule and in rule we say we want to go to internet means 0.0.0, .0. then how i want to go through internet gateway select internet gateway and select your gateway ig01 and save the changes now it's created okay when routing table is created let's say this is routing table rt name is rt but it's not connected to any instance any gateway any subnet first go to subnet lab 1 there are two labs which we created today today we create 91 range okay here are some multiple let's create again lab subnet kit we created two subnets which we created today Okay, we can see here the system in which subnet subnet id lab1604 subnet id with 604 this is the today's lab and it old oh, save it and today's lab is this go to subnet routing table here it's the routing table only with local rule now update the routing table first try to connect this instance then go to routing table because we created one router here and system with public IP but these two are not connected and the error again show not connected now go to here this subnet add routing and add table which table we created rt01 and see we set two rule one for local and one for internet save it and now check it connect This time we go to the connectivity. Okay. Ping. Try to ping Google. Eight dot eight and see fantastic connectivity because we connect this system with this routing table and this routing table say if you want to go to internet then go to this internet gateway and go out that's the main problem in next video i will show you if you have a pc in this subnet without public ip how you go to internet okay still it's not possible next video i will explain